Uh, I am just giving training about IBM Maximo. And uh, today, like I will give a brief introduction about me. I have currently having four years of experience in IBM Maximo. And I have delivered two projects which I have supported end to end and uh, currently working on them. And one project is for Commercial Bank of Ethiopia and another one is for National Nigerian Petroleum Corporation, which these two projects include uh, the designing of IBM uh, Maximo applications like ITL processes like change, incident, and worked on different uh, concepts of IBM Maximo like application designers and then application designer uh, workflows developing uh, integrating between some of the tools and there are many more other concepts which we have worked on these two projects today just i'll just give you a brief introduction how maximo will be setting up how the maximo maximo introduction and different modules in maximo as well as maximo database just the basic why we use maximo generally what is the purpose of maximo so First of all, Maximo is used as an IT service desk. It is used for ticketing tool, as well as it is used for asset maintenance, inv inventory and the storeroom, everything. Like for an organization, an end-to-end -end process can be done using Maximo. So first, how the Maximo, uh, we have different versions in Maximo, like it is started with 7.5, 7.6, like it's going on. The current version is 7.6.1.2. So the Maximo will be installed on top of VAS. It is a uh, VAS is an application hosting uh, server, like WebSphere application server, where the Maximo will be installed on top of VAS. And uh, we need to have a database too. For Maximo, we need three things, like which it should be hosted on web application server and it should have a database, separate database. We can use the DB2 database with IBM or Oracle database. So IBM Maximo will be installed on VAS. It's, uh, the application will be hosted on VAS and we will connect that to Max, uh, DB2. After that, uh, then we can access, so access the console of the Maximo. So Maximo, once the setup is done, if you are within the network, you can access that console with your own credentials. Like each individual user has their own credentials. It is supported as a user. Like uh, we have like 20,000 users or like whatever the number of users, they are supported with this maximum. Then each individual user have different like different set of permissions and everything can be done in maximum. Each individual user has like, uh, we can give privileges to them, like they can access particular number of applications. They can uh, just uh, view the console, read only permissions or whatever we want predefined for that particular set of people, like that particular set of group. And we, in Maximo, we can integrate with other tools like Active Directory, where we will get the user information from from that active directory and store it in Maximo database. So all the user information from that active directory will be coming to Maximo and thus in Maximo the data will be stored. Now in the Maximo, that user information, what is coming from AD, those users can access this Maximo consoles. So not only users, we will get the groups from AD, so these are the two types, like we have groups and users. So each user, first, uh, if uh, user, so uh, first thing in the groups, we will add these users. Like by default, when we integrate with AD, all the users which are in those groups will be added to the this, this same groups in Maximo. So this is how the user information from AD will be captured from there and stored it in Maximo. Now, so this is how the users log in and everything will be done. And then we'll go with what are the different modules in Maximo. Now we have ITL process. I have already mentioned it is mainly used for ticketing. Like we have a ticketing tool where they will create incident, change, 
and then service request problem these are the four process uh, majorly they will use it for creating tickets what is an incident if uh, i'll just brief about incident a service request problem and change if suppose in an organization if there is an uh, like there is a db2 if in an organization if a db2 server suppose take example as a bank in the bank if db2 server is stopped then they will raise a ticket in incident the db2 server is stopped now what we need to do is like we need to route that ticket to appropriate groups so that they can resolve this issue so this is how the ticketing tool i mean the maximo works as a ticketing tool uh, so incident and service request service request is a case where there is a like generally based on their organization that they, they'll categorize the tickets like what should be a service request what should be an incident so this is how it works as a ticketing tool not only a ticketing tool we have asset management also in the assets like in an organization how many number of assets we have so all these assets can be discovered like maximo own discover the assets but it can be integrated with asset discovery tools and we can get that data from there and in, uh, and then store it in maximo it act as a single screen where we can see the all the asset information now asset whole life cycle we can maintain in maximo and then uh, apart from assets there is a inventory storage and items uh items are nothing but uh, any uh, like we have a laptop or we have a processor that is called an item here so every items like how many items are there in a particular site or, or how many items are there in an i'll just give an example for that suppose um, an item item like i have 8 gb quad processor so it's an item so how many items are there for that particular that items how many are there in the particular location like i i have hyderabad bangalore so each location how many items are there in that organization we can calculate those we can store all those information in maximo so then not only like uh, items assets and ticketing tool it also works as a reporting tool i mean i mean we can design the reports and import those reports into maximo so they can get the information of all these incidents like how many number of incidents raised per particular day or how many assets are there like whatever the reports according to the client requirement we can design those reports in two ways like we have bert reporting which is a free software from eclipse and we have cognos reporting so these two reporting tools we will use and design the reports for these applications and we have maximo database like i have already mentioned the database we can use either ibm db2 or oracle databases based on the client requirement and client purchase we can use those things so if by default when we install this maximo database and link up with the maximo application certain tables will be created in maximo database predefined tables and whenever you want to do any operations in maximo we will use this maximo database mostly we need to know the knowledge of sql so that we can query all the information from that maximo database and store it. Uh, i mean we can query the information and then we need to for reporting or for anything we use this database and then generate the reports or you want to write any i mean you want to design an application we need a database tables and in in the database it will be the each application will be storing as an table like i have already mentioned incident so in incident uh, there will be an incident table for service request there will be a service request table these are all predefined applications in maximo you can create your custom applications also uh, that i mean first thing you need to create a table so that you can create your custom application that's how maximo database we will use it like most of the operations which we work will be done through the database so 
the prerequisite to learn this is sql generic knowledge of sql so that we can uh, use the maxmo tool so in the course curriculum we we will discuss about maxmo introduction like how maxmo works what are its uh, what what are its uh, advantages like what why why we need maxmo and everything just basics of maxmo and after that we have a concept called database configurations where we will deal with database everything how we will create table how we will create attributes and how we will uh, use those attributes and everything we will do it in database configuration and security groups security groups are where we will give permissions to each group uh, like uh, i told you we certain particular groups we have manager group support groups so each individual group has different permissions so we need we, we use security groups to give permissions then like that each topic we will discuss like how those are used in maxmo how we will create them how we will use them and how the things with this these are the course curriculum concepts and then uh, ibm maxmo are widely used now in the market like uh, it is uh, we have so many job opportunities around the world and uh, uh, we have like uh, we we will have certifications for maxmo where we can do functional certification and technical certifications so this uh, maxmo like it's like one of the training because in single application where we can maintain whole organization information its labor reporting and everything in a single application where they can look into the uh, they can look into the reports as well like how many are how many items are used how many assets are there uh, like how many incidents are generated per particular day so so many things can be done in maxmo so only one single application is needed for everything we can maintain the whole organization so mostly every organization is preferring maxmo so that they can easy to identify what are the things going on in an organization so and i already told we have certifications we can do this maxmo uh, uh, asset management and uh, we have maxmo asset manage functional and technical certifications so mainly in this things we will learn about application designer workflow designer automation scripts objects and domains these are the some main random i mean main topics where we will cover in this uh, curriculum because most of the things will be covered if we learn this five topics most of the things will be covered technical as part of a technical we will use this as a main preferred topics and we will cover this topics and uh, coming to projects we have to, I, ha i already mentioned i have done two projects and uh, that two projects involved in designing like uh, everything whatever the topics i have discussed every topic we have done in the project like every topic we have real time uh, i implemented those things in this two projects like uh, one commercial bank one project is for commercial bank of ethiopia and the one is for nas national nigerian petroleum corporation so like i already mentioned both have some common topics apart from that there are different also so what are the topics we have discussed about all the topics are covered in these two projects then for the lab like we need prerequisites and system requirements for the this technical training so the oh. first prerequisite i already mentioned we need to have ibm software web sphere application server and database and these things also they need to have versions like they this version will be supported by this application server and this version of db2 will be supported so we need to clearly mention the versions so those versions only will be supported like we have three so three should be compatible with each other then only we can install it and if you want to install everything in a system at least 16 gb ram of will be needed and for this 
we need to know the knowledge on SQL and database. I already mentioned everything revolves around the database for Maximo. So it plays an the database plays an important role. So you need to know SQL queries so that it is easy to learn Maximo. And then Python scripting. I already we have an a scripting concept where uh, which are not inbuilt, uh, which are not inbuilt ones. We need Python scripting. I mean, which are not inbuilt, like we need to customize some things which are not as part of the product. Then we use this scripting and uh, using Python, we will write the scripts and then implement that functionalities. And uh, I already told that Maximo application will be installed on WebSphere. So, so just at least basic knowledge of that so it will be easy to understand like how it will be hosted and everything uh, like already uh, mock interview questions like uh, generally if you cover all these topic almost all the mock interview questions which are going to be like they the interviews will be asking we will cover all the mock interview questions also i just gave random questions like what they will ask uh, like different types of domains and their differences, database configuration. So these are the topics we will cover so that uh, we can answer any type of mock interview questions.